Okay, here's another bit of misinformation that I found, and this shows you where blacks have no unity whatsoever on what they agree and believe is to be their lie that they're going to stick with, rather than saying that they were the West Africans. And so we're going to look at this. Why can't West Africans dance like the people of America, North, Central, South America, and the Caribbean Bahamas? How come you don't see any great tap dancers from West Central Africa? Did the white man teach us how to dance? Why does the vast majority of us look different from our West and Central African peers? Did somebody lie about our history? I'll let you be the judge. Well, the reason you don't look quite like your West and Central African peers is because they didn't have Jew daddy Caucasian admix, which makes you look a little lighter skinned, not all dark, and uh, some Caucasian features, although people like Michael Jackson fucked up themselves to try to look as white as possible. And so let's look at this. Michael tells you that the history books are not true. It's a lie. The history books are lying. You, you need to know that. You must know that. As he tried to look as white as possible. And you can tell this guy looks like he fucked up his face or at least his nose a little bit. Anyhow, this guy tried to present it, and you can see that um, he tells you these are the faces of the people that mold African Americans. So let's look just a little bit of this example that he tries to give. With a terrible piano version of Billie Jean. I think it's odd that he tries to pick Michael Jackson out because he has the distinct dance style that no one else has. You won't see anybody else in the video doing his dances unless they're mimicking or mocking him. So to say that Michael Jackson's dance is the black people's dance is about as foolish as anything. I've seen Fred Astaire do that same little wiggle dance. Well, it's very much like country line dancing. but that's nowhere near the same style. Here we have black people in Peru and they're doing Mexican dances. Look, this is a cha-cha. Black people adopt the cultures around them and then they act like it's theirs. Here's James Brown himself. Look at this wiggle, 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 twitch, twitch, twitch. I got ants up my ass. Oh, wiggity, wiggity. This is not really dancing people. This is just kind of showy shit. Look, scoochy foot. Nothing up top, scoochy foot. Oh, wiggle, wiggle on one leg. Woo, scoochy foot. Hop, hop, boom. James Brown. Does everybody dance like this? No, of course not. Now, what about the robot dance? I can tell you a million better robot dances than this. Then you have this wiggly fast foot thing going on, which has nothing to do with anything else we've been watching. And this just looks like a spastic routine here. It's just spazzing. It really can't go with music too much. It's just spastic. Now he's gonna try to imitate Michael a little bit. Cool. So you, you mimic. Yeah, blacks mimic. Great. Oh, look, here we have blacks gonna do the jitterbug, a white dance. They're gonna go a little crazy with it, but that doesn't mean it's not a white dance. Yep, throwing around, this is all white people stuff. Jitterbug. Throwing around everything, yeah. Look at the people in the background, they just freaking out. Well, what do the people look like in Costa Rica, which he calls Costa Chica? Uh, that dance doesn't look anything like it. They're going around just grabbing their skirts and scooching around, doing a little hoppity hoppity thing. They're all hanging around one lady with a fake giant dress on, which looks like an Elizabethan dress. That doesn't fit anything. Look at all the people in cowboy hats. Black people leave their cowboys now. See, they adopt. Then you have this hop and skip here that's footwork. All this footwork that's kind of like tap dancing. Like 
and the problem is this Negroid wants you to desperately believe that the American Indians were Negroes. They weren't Amer Indians with Neanderthal admix. No, that's what he wants you to think. But he's screwing up his entire culture trying to show you this type of lie. And let's see this. Meanwhile in Africa, this is about what they get going on. And look, hundreds of people around just to watch these guys dance. Ooh, they're being impressed. Look at this dance. Oh, it's impressive. That's just spastic silly shit there that really has no meaning. It may have meaning to an ignorant dung hut dweller, but it sure as hell doesn't have any logical meaning to anybody else. Ah, look at this dance. They're going to hop around. Oh, we shovel in poop, we shovel in poop, we shovel in poop. Ha ha, I'm happy, we shovel in poop. Now we run. What is this, you know, yeah. Meanwhile in Africa, nothing but crickets. But he's trying to say that this means that black Africans aren't the same. Although he gave it up. White people taught you how to dance differently. Look at this. Yep, that was the Great Depression. And the great distraction is black people trying to tell you they were Egyptians and anything else. They weren't, and they sure as hell weren't Amerindians. That's not a nigger on the left. So what are all these slave signs here that where they have 250 fine, healthy Negroes? They've already been through that smallpox. Da-da-da, and everything. Why, what is the smallpox? Well, smallpox broke out and almost killed off all the Amerindians, and it came from Negroids who had an epidemic. It didn't come from the other people who didn't have an epidemic. The epidemic people, of course, were, were going to break it out, and they did, and it was Negroes who had never experienced it before. See, so whenever they ran into Jew Daddy and the slave trade and stuff, they broke out with smallpox. And then after they infected the local Amerindians, they figured out what the problem was, and they put them all on these islands, in the Caribbean, and then they had to get over smallpox before they could be sold. In fact, there are parts here where that shows you they have to have scars on their body uh, that show you they have the smallpox scars and that they had been through it or they aren't allowed for sale for a good long time until the epidemic went away. But of course, all the Indians out in the West were pretty much died off before we even got a chance to go West. Everybody wants to have the, oh, we killed all the Indians off, but guess what actually killed all the Indians off? Well, now we do say it was diseases, and we, you know, we brought diseases. Well, what did we bring? We brought the black people. They had these diseases broke out, and it broke out in the Amerindians and took them the hell out. So time is running out for you Negroes. Wake y'all black asses up. You're not from Africa, Israel, Egypt, or planet Ricks. Study yourself before you study others and find out who you are. Because you're not any of those people. But you are from Africa. And it's silly and sick they take somebody and try to do these pictures. Here's what the dipshit presents. He tries to say that, look, here's the reality, that the Indians were taken out of America and went to Africa. And what he says, now check this one out, there were no Negroes in Africa. They were all in America, and the transatlantic slave trade was whenever whites came over and captured all the Negroes in America and took them to Africa, and now people think they're African. How foolish can these people get? How retardedly stupid can they get with their assumptions? About as stupid as this. But there's hundreds of more variations on the theme of retard. 